Welcome back to Blood of Zeus. That last episode was actually really good. Well, all of them have been so far. Uh, just what I asked for. More hair on. Let's see where this is going. Well, the only reason I see them taking prisoners is if they want to convert them into demons as well. Obviously, he went this just a little harder than you. Sure. Obviously. You Come on. Where they're taking us? Yes, I. Yes, I did. There's your answer. The music of this show has grown on me more and more with every episode. I actually really dig it. Ah, so this one is fire. Blue fire. Checking out the gods right now. Where are we at? What are we doing? Oh. Oh, I see those stupid fucking ravens. Hera, you suck. Oh, centaurs, cool. What is this? Aw, look at the little kids. <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, so she's been here before. What the hell is this place? Wonder if we'll get a like a brief history of human and centaur relations. Ooh, it's a big boy. And foolish are often one and the same. He seems okay. I couldn't translate the writing along the edges. Hopefully our friend here can. What is the map of? Where they keep the giant remains. Oh. There are no reference points, no way to... Well, I get the title screen a bit more now. Great Indiana Jones. I like it. Oh, your enemy. Already? Already? God damn it, dude. Have you decided to kill all the gods or not? If you're just going along with Hera, you're more stupid than I thought you were. I didn't have a choice. Oh, wow. What the just fuck, man? You did. And the lives of my people. That's fucked. That's so fucked. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Fuck it up, Alexia. Oh, okay. All right. You're not as bad as I thought. You're still helping out. Man, I feel bad for Seraphim, but he sucks. No, she stays with me. That was the deal. It's her or your people. Can you at least follow through with a promise, dickhead? Come on, Heron. There's got to be a way off this ship. There's got to be a way. There was no one left to fight. Okay, that's a good escape plan right there. You got like the best fighter in the land right next to you. It's got to be worth something. Time to test your metal. I'll never convert. Yeah, I was like, You're I wasting your time. I don't think she'd ever go not. along with it. Oh, look, it's my favorite. But she's still immortal. Is she not? Well, you're gonna die. <laughs> Are we the strong? And how do we stay strong? By calling out the weak. The weak. Oh, wow, I, I called that. <laughs> Damn. Neil. Oh, my God. Again? There has Always. to be a way to stop her. Like, what do you want? She bugging the shit I told you out I'd of help me. You find I need you to retrieve a sword for me. Oh, now you get the sword too. Uh, just wonderful. And not even Hephaestus's armor can withstand it. I told you he should have kept the sword. To destroy Talos. So she wants to re-release the giants. Like, get what is her job? <laughs> she just gets worse and worse, dude. Are you gonna piece it together that that's your brother or no? Like, come on now, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. This is definitely the point in the show where I'm just like, I am frustrated. <laughs> Nobody I like is winning. Damn, he threw that really far. Heron, if you had that sword to begin with, you might have been able to save your mom. Like, god damn it. You don't have to test it, I'm sure it works. So now he has both of these weapons? Are you, like, fucking with me right now? Yeah, yeah, this is officially the point in the show where I'm like, okay, I'm not having a fun time. Um, I hate everything. You know what to do. Yeah, please give me something One to root for right now, Heron, please. Fuck it up. What do you do, pickpocket him? Grab the key? Um, I'll bet that's what he did. He seems like the, uh, the thief type. And bada bing bada boom. Jesus. And shop have his head. That works too. Alright, that's more like it. It seems to be going a little too well. 
I'm okay with that because everything else is going horribly. Ah, uh, motherfucker. That's... I feel like that's gonna kill all the prisoners on that ship, but, uh... Um, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Meanwhile, the gods are just like, damn. If only we could do something. I saw Seraphim. Thank you. Someone's paying attention. So he can just turn himself invisible. That's to guess, pretty rigged. I'd say she was helping Seraphim sway the war in the demon's favor. You don't say. All right, come on, Zeus. Gloves off. Clearly, she's not obeying the laws she laid out for you. Or I guess you all laid out for each other, but like just. Oh, you think you're so cool. Whatever. Heron's gonna have that sword before too long, so don't get used to it. The will of the fates is clear. You all put way too much like faith in the fates. Just do your thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was sick. Well, that was helpful and all, but uh he's still in grave danger. Seraphim's like not out of commission or anything. Oh, look at you, Apollo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh save your shocked faces for later. I don't have time for it. Uh, and now they're all pissy about it. Like, whatever. I don't even care. I... I hate her so much. Ah, uh, why are you gonna end it like that, though? Fucking A, man. Well, as is the case with many shows and stories, this was the episode where you're supposed to be, you know, at your lowest point. Everything just seems so fucked. <laughs> and it is. Seraphim now has the sword that was meant for Heron. I said someone else was gonna get that and he was gonna regret throwing it away. And what do you know? Alexia got betrayed by her centaur friend, but at the same time he did uh, like destroy the map, so he kind of helped her. And it's clear he didn't want to do that. It, it was literally like, all my people die, or you know, I, I give you up and you get to stay with me, but of course, you know, <laughs> Seraphim isn't about playing fair. <laughs> and all the while, Hera is still just manipulating and being the worst person possible. Like, I don't even like Seraphim, but seeing her make him bow is really degrading and really gets on my nerves. It makes me think that she can't do that to the other gods, so she's really enjoying using it on a mortal, which... Ugh, I hate her so much. And of course, she got what she wanted in the end. She pushed Zeus far enough to interfere, and now... A war among the gods is inevitable because Poseidon sure looked pissed at um, Zeus. To which I still say, keep staring, bitch. Like, but luckily this episode was not only a downer. We got some information as to what the map actually is. We got some information as to what Hera is planning. You know, she wants Seraphim to kill the guardian of the giant souls, which I'm a little confused about. I don't understand why Hera would want to re-release the giants. Unless she's just so mad, she's like, I just want chaos. I just want Zeus to suffer from all the chaos that I am now going to bring upon the earth. But I mean, we also got Heron making his escape with his new friends who could all be dead now <laughs> after what Zeus just did. Hopefully not, but I wouldn't be surprised. And on the plus side, at the very least, Hermes and Zeus now know that Hera is plotting with the demons and is breaking her own rules. So there's that. Whether the other gods actually believe them, or if they even try to tell the other gods, that's a whole other story. But it can't just be all the gods against Zeus. You know he's going to have at least some that follow him as opposed to Hera. And as for Seraphim, he just... I want to like him. I actually do. I think he's a cool character with a very tragic backstory. I do feel bad for him. But he's actually going along with Hera's bullshit. Like, come on, man. Like, he, he can't be so naive to think that Zeus is the only problem. He better not be. Like, goddamn. I don't really know where we're going from here. Um... I'm assuming at some point Heron's gonna need to train to be able to fight Seraphim or keep up with the other gods. 
The Seraphim's quest seems to be leading him straight to the Giants, or you know, the rest of the Giants, which, if I had to guess, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's probably going to be able to release them all, and that'll be, you know, the finale of the show, or the se season. Considering the show started with the history of the gods going to war with the Giants, it would make sense if season one uh, ends with that. Animation-wise, this episode I think might have been the best one. The lighting effects they use on the sword are really cool. The Zeus Berserk mode with the lightning at the end was great animation. I love the star map towards the beginning. There were a lot of moments in this episode that I think were very eye-catching and very solid in terms of what their animators were able to do. Sound and music, I think were also probably the best of the season so far. I love the sound of the sword, even though it's a little bit of a ripoff of a, a lightsaber, but I'm okay with that because lightsabers are dope. The score is just extremely epic in a way that a Greek mythology show kind of needs to be, so that's really working for me. Editing and pacing, uh, it's still very fast paced. This show doesn't really stop to take a break, which I do like a lot. This easily seems like the kind of show that could be extremely expository heavy or really big on like lots of travel scenes, but they have kind of completely cut that out. And I'm glad they have because I don't have time for that bullshit. We need to go 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 overall i'm gonna give this episode an 8.5 out of 10 i think while it was good and definitely progressed the plot forward for me as i mentioned before it was the episode where you're meant to feel at your lowest and i, I don't like it <laughs> i'm not the kind of person that enjoys watching the really dark stuff in shows where the characters you like are just getting shit on it's the main reason i've never really liked the boys all that much and this was definitely the episode where we got the most of that and a fair dose of, you know, victories, but nothing that really makes up for the fact that I had to witness Seraphim have not only his stupid ass spear, but also the sword that was meant for Heron, like, that was very dejecting. I did not enjoy that. Aside from that, I think the writing and animation was really spectacular in this episode. But as for overall enjoyment, I have to give it a, you know, a bit of a ping in the score because I, I don't like feeling so down from, you know, my fantasy worlds. That being said, the next episode is going to be a banger. I can feel it. And I'm still enjoying the show quite a bit overall. So I will see you on that next episode. And that's about it.